All right. All right, let's do this. I got this. I got this. Now I'm gonna switch. Oh my. Hello? Missing Hiker. Random, ominous game that I found. But before we get started, I just want to give a reminder that my memberships and my super chats are active if you'd like to support in some way. And this will help me to increase the quality of my video. So that way the quality is a little bit better for those of you that watch it on TV and it gets kind of stretched. So if you can support in that way, I much appreciate it. Let's get started. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. That's not good. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. Okay, he should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. All right, sounds like you did all you could. And they said they don't have the resources for a search. Wait, they don't have the resources for a search? What do you mean you don't have the resources for a search? A person goes missing, isn't it their job to figure it out? So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Imagine going to the police and they say, sorry, like I know you're missing your mother or your daughter or your brother, but we just, we don't have the resources to go find them. Where's the tax money going then? What are y'all doing besides shooting people? They just spending money on tanks for the military so military soldiers can make TikTok videos. You know what DK stands for? Drift King. But imagine going to the police, like, isn't it their job? If somebody goes missing in the woods, who do you call? But what if there's not a police for the woods? No, you call the police. If someone goes missing in your local woods, you call the cops for help for a search. They don't want to do an investigation unless it's like a high profile person. But what kind of mess is that? That they have to be a special person? Like, what's a high profile special person for? Um, I should park at this gas station to ask if they saw my brother. Boom. Am I handicapped? Well, I guess I am. Okay, what do we got? F for flashlight. It got real dark real fast. Whose car is this? This is a Mercedes for sure. Ooh! Hold on, let me, uh, can I get in this? Can I get that catalytic converter? Let's go inside, I guess. We can. How we doing, young gentleman? Oh, I can talk to you. Hello, uh, what do you want? Wow, that's how you greet people when you first meet them? What do you want? Bro, relax. I'm searching for my brother. There we go. He went missing while hiking in this area. Okay. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. Imagine going up to somebody and telling them that, you know, you have a lost family member and they hit you with, hey, that's not my problem. Or, you know, I don't want to deal with it. Like have a little bit of sympathy. You know what? You know, I understand. That's not your problem. I get it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have came. But thank you for your time. A matter of fact, just to something to give to you since you were kind enough to answer me. I just have a little bit. Oh. He needs some milk. These hands are your problem now. Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this. I'm just, we're human beings. Like it just, I'm not saying anything rude. I'm pretty sure I started with, I lost my brother. Have you seen him? That's all I started with, man. I work pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. Wow. Imagine you saying that you lost your brother and somebody hits you with this attitude. I understand. Sorry for bothering you. No, I don't understand. Wow. It's just like that. You look like a Kyle, bro. This is definitely a Kyle. See, I tell you what, this dude is dressed really professionally in a suit and everything. And you think they'd be professional and nice people, but it'd be these people dressed all dapper. that would be the rudest, nastiest people to other people. Meanwhile, the ones that look like they're homeless who just came out of World War III are like the nicest people in the world. You know what, Kyle? You keep playing games. Matter of fact, this is definitely his Mercedes outside. Oh man, I have a potato in his tailpipe. Kyle, I got my goons coming in about an hour and a half. They live in Pennsylvania. They'll be here in an hour and a half. Don't you move. What you got in here? Oh, we got a big sale on Rutella vegan mayonnaise. Y'all need to stop with that vegan and, you know, that vegetarian stuff. Plant-based milks. Plant-based milks? That's what I'm saying. Y'all need to, listen. If y'all like vegetables and all that stuff, that's fine. But I think it's weird when they try wheat beer. It's weird when they try to make vegetarian stuff out of like, you ever see where people have like vegan fried chicken or like vegetarian fried chicken. And it's like fried, uh, like some kind of mushrooms. 
Like, why are you like, isn't the whole point of you being vegetarian or vegan is you don't want to eat animals or all that other stuff. But here you're going to have something you call like vegan fried chicken. Why can't it just be fried mushrooms? Why got to be vegan fried chicken or vegan steak or all this other stuff? Why can't it just be what it actually is? If you want it that bad, just eat it. Like, come on. Tobacco, gums. This place is crazy. Are you going to be rude to me like the other dude? Probably. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? Thank you. That's how you should respond. If someone comes up to you and says, hey, like I have this problem. My brother's missing. This is how you should respond. What does he look like? Maybe I've seen him. Maybe I don't have to give any extra effort like Kyle thought he had to do. And maybe I can just tell you where he is. He has brown hair. He's pretty tall. He has a green backpack. Let me think for a second. Thank you. Just a second. That's all I'm asking. Have you seen him? I'm not asking for you to go search for him. Hmm. Yes, I think I saw your brother. That other dude, Kyle, probably saw him too, but was... Whatever, man. He came in here and brought and bought a few things, some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him. Have you told the police already? Let me tell you, bro. Yes, I did, in fact. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. Crazy as that is. They said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. They only start if a person's gone for four. By that time, they're dead. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. You know why they went missing and couldn't be found? Because the cops wait 48 hours before they go to look for them. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. A road behind the gas station. Okay, make sure to stay on it. I didn't even say I'm going. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Wildlife. Coffee, tea. Listen, Kyle, You, I'll tell you what, you lucky that the, the store owner was nice. Cause you see that, look at this chin line here. It looked like somebody already chipped the tip of your, your tip of your stuff already. <laughs> Probably because you acting the way you do. Look at this dude. You definitely got, look at this angle. Look at this clean 45 degree angle. Somebody definitely chipped you for acting like that. Don't let me turn it into a, an acute angle. Hit you with that sharp, that sharp hook. Okay, let me keep going for it. I can't take the car though. Why would I not? My car kind of nice too, though. Oh, my car nicer than his. Why am I talking so much? Because I'm scared. Because I'm nervous. I don't know what this game is about. It seems very dark and ominous, so it's probably a scary game, but I don't know what kind of scares they got in here. Wildlife is one thing, but I think I'm more scared of people. And I'll tell you why. Because wildlife is wildlife. They work on instincts, like bears and mountain lions, all these things, like... They work on instinct where if they don't want to bother you, they're not going to bother you. They have their own things that they're doing and there's certain things you can do to get them away. Like they have guides for what to do if you see a bear or maybe a mountain lion. And the reason why those things work is because they work on instinct. If they see a giant fire waved in their face or something, maybe they react a certain kind of way. But people, people, they have their own intentions. Like if a person's out here, and he wants to harm you like there's nothing like the will of a person is unbreakable. You know, they can do whatever they want and they can even give you the intentions that they don't want to harm you. My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should still take a closer look. Wait, whose tent is this then? It's a t I thought it was a rock. It's a tent. We're just walking on a random tent. It's probably his ID or something right here. It's really bright here for not having anything. This is exactly why I shouldn't be playing on a mouse and keyboard. You saw how immediately when danger showed up, my whole hands left the controller, the mouse and keyboard. If this, if this was danger, I would be dead right now. My gosh, who is this? Is this my brother? Uh, I scared you. I almost had a heart attack myself for real facts. Oh, uh, IRL, what do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. No, let me lead with the my brother's missing line and see how he responds. Uh, I'm not, I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Uh, have you seen him? Nope, I haven't seen him. Wait, you don't even know uh, how he looks like. Is 
This is the killer right here. Just Scooby Doo them right there. I'm just some guy that likes to hike in a woods, in a woods, and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. This is the killer. Nobody likes to do that. I haven't seen anyone in these in days. I understand. I don't. You're planning to go deeper into the forest? Yes, I'll be searching around the area. I hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. You'll look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something, but last night I had my tent up a bit north, a bit up north, and I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. Uh, also, one last thing. Don't creep up a uh, tent in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, let me take your piece then. Let me, let me, and I'll bring it back. You know, good and well, you're not giving it to no stranger. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. All right. Thanks, bruh. Thanks, bruh. Thanks. What's your name? Jimmy? Let me see your, let me see your angle, Jimmy. You got somebody chipped you too. Maybe a little less sharp than, than, than Kyle. I bet this dude is the killer for sure. And hey, he got a gun. Let me keep my eyes on you. Don't follow me. You stay right there. Okay. All right. He might just be a random NPC. Old Jimmy over there. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he's he's running around here now for sure. Oh, I, I knew it was him. I knew it was him. Oh, man. This is what I'm saying, though. See, with people, if it, it was an animal and it disappeared, it's like, okay, that's what animals do. They're here for a second and then they run off into the distance, whatever. It doesn't matter. But with and you know that's what they do. But people, he could have intentions to do anything. We don't know. Like, people don't act on instinct like animals do. So he could want to do anything. If he has bad intentions, too, there's no warding him off. Like, if he wants to, if, like, a person wants to get to you and do something crazy, they'll do it. Like, you can try to fight all you want, but they're going to try to carry out whatever their intentions are, which is like the worst thing ever. It's not, so I'd rather see wildlife here, as crazy as that sounds, I'd rather see wildlife than a person. Then again, if like, if a bear was determined to hurt you, you would die compared to having a chance against a, uh, a chance against a person. But then again, like people are just, they're scary. You just don't know their intentions. But same things with animals. All that stuff is creepy, but like, I'm just saying people are, are like, they could do a lot worse than death. An animal at the worst will kill you. Like that's the worst thing an animal will do to you is kill you. Literally, that's the worst case scenario. An animal won't do anything worse than kill you. But people, they can do a lot worse than kill you. It's getting really cold. I should set up a tent on the left side of the road. This wide open space. My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. You should have just went back home. Listen, I hope your brother's worth it. This is on him. So now he's risking his life and my life because he wanted to come up here and be stupid. When I wake up, somebody's going to be right there over me. All right, brace for it. I think I heard someone scream. I'm not sure if it was real or imagined. Uh, okay, that's nice. Let's go back to bed. Like, if that's your brother, correct me if I'm wrong, you would know exactly what he sounds like. For example, I have a brother. I, I know that this sound, I'm gonna just follow the light. I know that this sound, this scream is not the sound of my in real life brother's voice because I know the way my brother sounds. So you should know if that scream is your brother or not. Where's Jimmy? See, look at this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. For nobody. Well, maybe for one person, but for the general public, I'm not doing this. He, do I really? Oh, nah, man. I'm a mouse. If somebody chases me, 
I'm dead. Like you saw number one, my hands are coming up and I don't have the dexterity for mouse and keyboard like that. This is my this I think this is my first horror game on mouse and keyboard like this. Oh my gosh. If someone comes in here, I'm dead. Look at this. Look at this. If somebody has a meat hook hanging from their ceiling, you need to run. Can I take the ax? This is where they do their butchering. We're going to say animals. It's a nice camera. Push E to inspect. Uh, so I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. Is somebody outside. Ooh. Who is that? Who is that? Hello? Bro, if... Okay, okay. He's not coming yet. Why am I... Why am I... Moving my head like this? What am I doing? Game plan. So... From where he is, there's a lot of space in between us, right? All I have to do is when he comes, so I'm gonna go outside and see when he starts moving. Hopefully he's not that fast. When he starts to when he starts to follow me, I'm a I'm a loop around the porch, the deck. He's gonna follow me around the deck. As soon as he's by like this door of this deck, and I'm now out there and he's gone, I'm a shoot out and sprint into the darkness and get out of here. All right, all right, let's do this. I got this, I got this. We're on it. I'm gonna bait him and I'm gonna switch. Oh my. Your body was never found. <laughs> wow, the fact that I just made a whole plan to get around the threat but they put somebody, all right, good stuff. You got it. You got it, bro. You got it. Good stuff. Missing hiker, y'all. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more of my content or comment on something that you really enjoyed. And again, remember those memberships and super thanks if you want to help me increase the quality. But as always, as part of my videos, I like to shout out another channel to show some support to the community. So the channel I'm shouting out is the following one here. This channel is called New Gamer. So you can see he's a gamer that puts up a ton of Roblox videos. It seems primarily he does Roblox videos. So if you're into the game Roblox and want to see someone new that's putting up a lot of content, especially over the time period of a week, check him out. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe and support him and you can go ahead and do the same. But thank you again for watching until next. Oh, wait, hang on. I got a call. Sorry. Uh, get back to you in one second.